The Apple anecdote surrounding Isaac Newton's discovery of gravity is one of the most popular ones in the history of science. Although there is no written record by Newton himself suggesting the authenticity of the incident, historians claim that he was fond of telling the Apple story himself, albeit with exaggeration. The incident has been described in other documents, the authors of which claim that Newton had confessed to them about the Apple incident during his old age. The most detailed and prominent among such documents is the account written by his friend, William Stukeley, who also wrote Newton's first biography. In 1666, during the Great Plague of London, Newton left Cambridge for Woolstore Manor, the pastoral home of his mother. Stukeley wrote that once after dinner, while the two of them drank tea under an apple tree, Newton told him that he was still contemplating the notion of gravity. He spoke about the apple tree as an example and wondered aloud why the apples fell perpendicularly to the ground and not sideways. He added that while he remained in that contemplative mood, a couple of apples did fall on the ground and finally Newton concluded that the apples fell straight only because the drawing power of the earth must be in earth's center. Stukeley did not clarify whether an apple fell on Newton's head or not. So, it can be said with a far hint of surety that though the apple did not fall on Newton's head, it did inspire his gravitational theory. Interestingly, at least one apple tree has been found at Woolsthorpe Manor, lending probability to the incident.